Greetings, Boulder United Methodists. I bring you the love and prayers of your Mountain Sky family as you gather today, as well as bring you greetings from the bishops of the Western jurisdiction of the United Methodist Church. How right it is that we gather to worship God, the one who promises to stay close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. I invite you to pray with me, but, but I invite you to pray with eyes wide open, to look at the people before you and see them as the precious gifts from God they are. Let us pray together. Eternal one, you are the alpha and the omega, the beginning and the end. From you we came and to you return. We pray this morning with hearts that are still so broken and in shock. It's hard to comprehend the violence that's occurred in, in this community. What happens to our life together when even the most mundane act of shopping for groceries turns into a place of unspeakable horror and violence? We pray for the family and friends who lost a loved one on Monday. May your love surround them through the acts of care and remembrance that we offer. Eternal healer, we ask for your spirit to meet the places in our souls, in our hearts, in our lives, in our community that hold the trauma of that day. Bring us what we hunger for, comfort, and the peace that passes all understanding. Heighten in us the awareness that you have given us this life as a gift. May we see one another through the eyes of compassion and offer one another acts of kindness. May you bind us together stronger than ever before as we seek to be a people of peace, generous in love, and eager to follow the ways of Jesus as we build a community in which every one of your beloved children may flourish without fear. We pray this in the strong and precious name of Jesus. Amen. Our first <clears throat> epistle lesson is from 1 Peter, chapter 1, verses 3 through 9. Praise be to God, praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power until the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In this, you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of tri trials. These have come so that your faith of greater worth than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. <clears throat> though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Amen. 